back to another video. Today I'm going to show you all of my vegan lunches from a week in my life. And first we are starting with Sunday and on Sunday I started by chopping and peeling three white potatoes and then boiling them over the stove. Whilst that was going on I put some olive oil as well as some cherry tomatoes into a pan and I fried them up in some garlic before adding one tin of washed black beans as well as one tin of tinned tomatoes. I left that all to boil and once my potatoes were done I drained them and then added some nutritional yeast, some almond milk and some Nutalex, which is a vegan butter. And then I mashed that all together until it was nice and done. Once I was all done, then I popped it onto a plate with the bean and tomato mixture on top. And that is what I had for lunch on Sunday. It was absolutely delicious. Moving on to Monday and I once again am starting with three potatoes, which I am slicing up into like fry or chip <laughs> shapes. Once that's all done in a bowl, I'm putting some olive oil, nutritional yeast, flax meal and sesame seeds. And then I'm mixing this all together to form a batter for the chips that I'm going to make. Then I got a lined baking tray and basically just grabbed each chip and coated them in the batter that I made and then lined them onto the lined baking tray. Once that was all done, I put them in the oven for about 30 minutes and then I served them with some veganaise, which is a vegan mayonnaise and some tomato sauce. And that is what I had for lunch on Monday. It was absolutely amazing. Moving on to Tuesday and today we are starting with a loaf of panna di casa bread. I sliced four really thick slices. Then I've got one tin of washed chickpeas, which I mashed slash minced to look like an eggy sort of texture. Then added some spring onion, nutritional yeast and garlic, as well as some parsley. Then I mixed this all together before adding some veganaise, which again is vegan mayonnaise. And I mix this all together. Once that's all done, I've got my bread, which I'm putting some spinach on, as well as the chickpea mixture that I made and some fresh cucumber and avocado. Then I topped this off with some more bread and I had these beautiful sandwiches for lunch. Moving on to Wednesday and I started with one sweet potato, which I chopped into these disc circle shaped pieces before putting some olive oil onto a tray and then placing the sweet potato on there. Then I topped that with some Himalayan salt as well as some paprika and some garlic. And then after that, I put that into the oven for about 30 minutes to roast. Whilst that was happening, I started with some water in a pan as well as some spring onion, some garlic, and then I mixed that all together and then added one tin of washed chickpeas as well as some parsley and some basil. And I continued mixing that all together until all the water absorbed. Once these two things were done, I served them in a bowl with some brown rice. I am loving Buddha bowls at the moment, as well as some spinach. And then I popped all of my sweet potatoes in there as well. Then I served with half of an avocado as well as a spoon of hummus and also some vegan bocconcini, which is like a vegan cheese by the brand Demona. And then I put some pumpkin seeds, flax seeds and sesame seeds on top. And that was my amazing lunch. Moving on to Thursday and I started with my saucepan, which I put some olive oil, some spring onion and some fresh tomato in, as well as one tin of washed black beans and one tin of washed corn. Then I mixed this together and then added in some flavoring. So I added in a whole heap of paprika, garlic and salt and mixed that all together. Then I started with a wrap, which I put some spinach in as well as the bean and corn mixture I had just made. Some crunchy corn chips, which I swear just makes a burrito even more awesome. And some avocado. And I totally failed at, at wrapping this up, but it was still absolutely delicious. I, I love this so, so much. After this, we are moving on to 
Friday and on Friday I went down to Byron Bay to have lunch with my friend Chelsea. I had an almond milk iced chocolate as well as this beautiful avocado on toast. I have this at the Byron Bay general store and my friend Chelsea she had a smoothie bowl as well as a turmeric latte. This place was really really nice. I definitely recommend the vibe is super cool if you're down in the Byron Bay area and definitely order an iced chocolate. It was absolutely amazing. Moving on to Saturday and I'm starting with two pieces of sourdough toast which I toasted in the oven. Then I've got one fresh tomato which I am slicing up and as you can probably tell we're gonna make some delicious avocado and tomato on toast. So I put half an avocado on each slice of toast and mashed it on with a few slices of tomato. Then I got out my vegan bocconcini which as you can tell I've been absolutely loving lately and I topped it with that as well as some pink Himalayan salt and some cracked pepper. And this is delicious, so simple, so easy and a great way to finish my week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Just keep moving on to the beat, open mind, dirty feet, this is what we need.